Hello and welcome to Footsteps 24-7. Today we're at the National Trust again in Essex in Raynham. This is Raynham Hall and its gardens. We've got a nearly three acre garden. So um, we're standing in the courtyard at the moment. Along with the main building, the grounds contain a stable coach house and lodge, all of which were given grade two listed status in January 1955. The hall is a rare survivor and remarkably fine example of Queen Anne style architecture built in 1729. It was designed as a home to be lived in. Hello sir. Hello. <laughs> well, while it's fine, before we go in the house, what we normally do is point out a couple of things outside the village. Raynham village has been a village here since um, the beginning of time, really. But at the new millennium, the local authority and the local historians thought they would celebrate Raynham village transformation from a medieval village to a 21st century industrial village. And to commemorate that, you'll find tokens set in the pavements. And one is down there. And that explains that it's outside Raynham Hall. This is a little lovely yeah. house. Okay. Yes. Original railings, 18th century railings. They have survived. So they are very nice, park. especially the, de the details. Over, over the gate, the initials, John and Mary Hall, the original owners. Um, Queen Anne Dutch style. Now, what that means really is, is symmetry. Now, if you look, windows all line up, the building is virtually square. Back elevation, however, is slightly different. It doesn't line up because that window, inside, internal window, it has to be lined up on the, on the big staircase. A Queen Anne Dutch style is symmetry and compactness. You've probably got rooms at home that are the same size as the rooms inside here. Hello and thank you for watching. Hey, if you're thinking about switching off, don't do that. Watch to the very end, you won't regret it. There's been no aristocratic family involved with Raynham Hall. There is a reason why you don't see a great deal of furniture in the hall. Um, because the original family died out after 41 years of living here. So really our story starts in 1688 with the birth of John Harl. Now he hailed from the northeast, South Shields as we call it now, the village of Westo. And he was born into a family that were colliers. They were shipping coal from Newcastle, it, oh sorry, into London. Um, they were about one of about 500 East Coast families engaged in that trade. Now in the early 1700s, the father died. Yep. Well, this call is being recorded as part of an ongoing criminal investigation. How may I help you, sir? Oh, sorry, wrong number. <laughs> Karen is um, in the middle of a really involved um, historical look at this place. And um, so I found that I'm just wandering around, getting in trouble. He became a property developer in central London. It's such an old looking house. It seems quite warm though. Or a bit scary depending. Interesting wallpaper. He's still talking to her. I don't know what he's saying, but we'll leave him to it, I think. smell like? Well, this one smells like an 
What is that one? You might be thinking, what's that smell like then? Well, for me, it smells a little bit like potpourri mixed in with a little bit of Christian Dior Sauvage. Ooh. A stewed pear, pear and clove, orange and bouquet, yami, orange peel, thyme and bay leaf, all in the same place. We see these pages in styled still life photographs rather than pictures taken in any actual setting of kitchen or dining room. We want the food to look simply beautiful, but it's white, <laughs> completely white. When do you, you don't eat white food, do you? White. It's completely white. Brilliant, isn't it? And we think that both the finished dish and some of the ingredients we're yeah. going into could be arranged from a very effective composition. Dad, it's finished. Oh, it's a bit like still life, except that they just forgot to paint it. Hey, Zephan, I'm just going to go upstairs, okay? See you in a second. What? How did he get there? Hey, stop waving your hands in front of her face and get upstairs, you little ninja. How did you do that? Yeah, got to keep my eye on you from now on, Sonny Jim. This is the insanity room. I mean, relaxation room. Get up, Zephyr. This is the uh, the photo room. I just found my favorite room in the entire place. Look at these lights. Look at these Attempt to have a very tight. It's very good, Zephyr. Can I see? Can I see? <laughs> <laughs> You're saying, Dad. Putting a bow tie on. This is a bow tie. I don't. I think my neck is too fat. Please. So do that. <laughs> Excellent. Professional photo room. Uh, me and Dad are in here for professional photo shoot, you know. Dad's getting his photo on. Nearly dying. It's okay. It's okay. He'll survive. He'll survive. It's okay. <laughs> I think he'll be okay. Oh, oh, that's the problem. That might be a slight problem. Right, just, just one, two. <laughs> He's alive! Yay! Wow. Raynham House is actually surprisingly nice. more interesting than I originally thought it would be. On a rainy day, this is a day to come out. Oh, wow. Toilet is 
this an actual working toilet? I don't think you can use. You want to Come in. She said that there is a switch you need to press oh. this here. Press the switch and step inside it to experience why it is not used to the light. No, I think it's a Brazilian thing, but. My Karen, she's into the scary, the spooky, and the horror, and so she loved this room. For all the rage about a hundred years ago. There's so much to read and to discover and to explore and to see and to listen as well. We're not going to spoil it for you. You can come and visit and enjoy and explore it yourself. Well, this is where people used to sit and have a chit chat. And I shall commence. The lights are Hallelujah. It's raining now. Yeah, so this is where people used to sit and just relax. Until eventually And just enjoy the garden and escape the weather. In this house, he's imported from the Baltic. The marble floor is imported from the Mediterranean. We love Graham. He was such a lovely guy, but, you know, we could be there for about an hour or so, so we had to move on and do other things. We hope you enjoyed uh, the National Trust today at Raynham House. Plenty to explore.